Okay, one more example on simplifying expressions. This is really important. Don't forget about the order of operations because in general we tend to forget as we just focus on like terms then we tend to forget the order of operations and then you know eventually you get wrong answers because you don't use it. So let's take a look at this exercise but let's first analyze what is going on here. That's uh, something I would recommend you to do. Look at this. We have this expression inside the parentheses, whatever, we, whatever it is, right? The thing is that the expression inside the parentheses is going to be multiplied by negative 8. And then I'm going to add the product of 6 and whatever is inside this parentheses. If you learn to read that and notice what is going on, it's going to be much easier for you to know what you got to do every time. Now, we have some parentheses here. Do we, or can we do something about this one? No, because 4 and B are not like terms. So, we just, we just have to keep it like that. But whatever what we have in this case, it can be solved, it can be simplified somehow before we proceed to do the distributive property. So let's begin. According to what we have inside, we need to focus on order of operations. Inside the parentheses, we have an exponent, we have addition, subtraction, addition, and multiplication. So based on what we know, we know that we have to do first parentheses and exponents. We are already solving the parentheses. So let's solve this exponent. This is three squared is nine, because it's three times three. Now, you have a plus, you have a minus, you have a plus, and you have a multiplication here. So we have to do this one first. So, what are the two terms involved in that multiplication? Five and negative one, the ones that are on either side of the multiplication sign. So what is five multiplied by negative one? It's negative five. So you are gonna be adding a negative five. You see that? Don't forget about this. This is the outside. This is, this is the closing parenthesis to this. And now I can rewrite the others. Now I can keep doing this one simplification. Of course, I rewrite negative a. I rewrite the second part of this expression. I'm still not done with this expression inside. I can keep simplifying. And that's what I try to do every time before I proceed doing the distributive property. So look at that. We have B is the only term in here, variable. So I keep it like that. But now I take a look at the constants. They are like terms, so I can simplify them. We have 9 minus 2 is a 7. Plus a negative 5 is the same thing as saying minus 5. So that's going to be 9 minus 3 is 7. Minus 5 is a 2. So I have a 2 plus b. That's the simplest form of this expression at the beginning. That is going to be multiplied by a negative 8. And then after I do that, I'm going to add the product of 6 and 4 plus b. Now, this is something that you're already familiar with. We already did it. So we are just going to proceed the, way, the usual way we do. We solve this distributive. We solve this distributive and then simplify whatever we can. This is a negative 16 when I do this multiplication. And then when I do this, this is negative 8b. And now plus 6 times 4 is 24. And 6 times b is 6b. Finally, because this is not the last step, I can see like terms in here. So let's begin with the variables. Negative 8b plus 6b is negative 2b. And, you know, I, I usually cross them out, so I, you know, it depends on what you like to do, but make sure that you do it in an orderly fashion, all right? And now we have a negative 16 plus 24. It's an 8. And that's it. We are done, okay?